Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Godly. A little bit of gameplay info for you guys. Nuketown kill confirmed are running the AN94. My score streaks are Orbital, Dogs, and Swarm. This last week I told you that I prestiged because I wanted to try to up my game up a little bit. Um, and I, the highest score streak that I had unlocked was the Warthog. So I wanted prestige and get more tokens so that I could unlock, you know, some of the higher score streaks. So this last week, though, I feel like my game is just, man, it's just been on point, honestly. So one of the things, though, that's changed is I actually went from a TV to a gaming monitor. Now, in the beginning, I was very leery about it. It's taken me a long time to even come, you know, come to grips with the idea that, okay, maybe, maybe I do need one, you know? I always thought that it's just going to be completely difficult and just way too hard to go from a 50, 60 inch TV down to a gaming monitor. You know, I'm going 50, 60 inches down half of it, you know, basically to 24 inches. So, but anyways, I really feel like this last week, I just got it. And this last week, I feel like my game has just been on point. I don't know if it's making me a better player. I don't know, but I just feel like I have, you know, I have way better gameplay this last week than I've ever had. So, you know, I think in this gameplay, I actually go 63 and seven. Now, as always, I know that that's not, you know, prodigy alert material, but for me, that's pretty fucking fantastic, you know? So I really feel like it's kind of made me a better player. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a little bit of a review for you guys. I've had a lot of people who asked me, you know, you know, what brand, um, how much, you know, what are your thoughts about it? What's it like going from a TV, you know, down and anyways, I may do a little bit of a review for you guys, but just up front is a 24 inch ACES monitor. Um, but like I said, I've only been playing on it this last week and I, I really feel like my, you know, game is just on point. Like I, I really feel like it's made me a better, you know, a better player. So if that's possible at all. So anyways, that's just a little bit of random info for you guys, but um, I'm pretty excited and I am probably going to do a review for y'all. So um, like I said, I was really leery in the beginning, but <clears throat> it's really made me a better player. So whatever. All right, guys, I wanted to talk about MLG going to the X Games. Now, I don't know if you've recently read the headlines or whatever, but apparently on Monday, X Games and MLG announced that they're going to have a Call of Duty tournament at the X Games in June in Austin. Now, I read a lot of stuff in that little article. But first and foremost, let me just point out Austin in June. <laughs> June in Austin is probably one of the worst places to be. I absolutely love Austin. It's probably one of my favoriteest places ever. It's just the atmosphere is just crazy. You know, there's um, University of Texas there, just the atmosphere. It's a university town. I just love it from, you know, the nightclubs, the restaurants and just all the good stuff there. But to be there in June, oh, Lord, baby Jesus, ridiculous. So just, you know, a little FYI, a little bit of advice for you guys. Just, you know, plan accordingly. So like I said, it's probably one of the hottest places to be in Austin in June or July. So anyways, but my question to you guys, does gaming deserve to be at the X Games? Now, I've seen a lot of opinions this last week as far as, you know, gamers and is it, a, you know, is it a competition? Are they athletes? You know, this, that, and the other. And I think it kind of just depends on what your version of an athlete is. To me, an athlete, it isn't only just something physical, but a lot of it is mental. For me, though, I know that I can amp myself up or I can drag myself down. You know, I'm not talking about just in gaming. I'm talking about in general, in life. But I really can see how it can be something mental. I can see how they have to mentally prepare. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I think it, you know, just pretty much depends on what your definition of an athlete is. <clears throat> All right. With that being said, do they deserve to have medals? Now, what I read so far was they're going to take the top four or five teams, the top four or five teams as far as MLG points, that's going to, you know, they're the ones who are going to be at the Call of Duty competition or Call of Duty tournament. So at that point, I guess the winner, you know, they're going to have gold, silver, and bronze, just like normal X Games. So this is pretty much just going to be a normal part of the X Games. So I don't know. I don't know if they deserve stuff like that. I don't know if, I don't know. But then again, as far as, you know, what I said, it's not only just something physical, it's also something mental. 
I also look at gaming as far as, okay, you know what? Maybe it could be a sport. If pool or bowling or let's, you know what? Even better, let's take poker and compare it. Gaming is as much of a sport as poker or pool or bowling or darts. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of sports, just because you don't agree with them, doesn't mean that they're still not sports or doesn't mean that people aren't allowed to compete. There's a lot of sports that I'm just not a fan of at all. Um, I cannot stand golfing. Like to me, there is nothing competitive about golfing. It is the most boringest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. You know what I'm saying? But just because that's my opinion, that doesn't mean that people aren't allowed to compete in it. You know what I'm saying? So, but I really feel like that gaming is as much of a sport as bowling or, you know, golf or anything like that, you know? I mean, except for like, you know, basketball and football and stuff like that. Some of the, you know, other sports that are more physical. But like I said, I think that gaming is just as much of a sport as bowling or golf or pool or darts, you know? So, um, but like I said, as far as them, do they, do they deserve medals? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this is just going to be something that's going to be, you know, just this year. But I can guarantee you, though, that Call of Duty and just MLG in general, you know, they are making money and they are trying to spread out and they're going to go. You know what I'm saying? They would be a fool not to accept this or not, you know, jump in. So it's it's going to be kind of cool. Like I said, I would love to go. I think that I may just have to sneak off, may have to take some time off from work. And I don't know, it just really doesn't sound appealing to me being in Austin in June. But um, like I said, I may have to take a little bit of a time off and and check it out. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to get your opinion. Does gaming deserve to be in the X Games? That's what I got for you guys. Till next time, peace out.